there is a year, about 11 months that are ahead of us before the next Ramadan. And the question comes up is what shall we do in these 11 months that are upcoming until the next Ramadan? Brothers and sisters, the first thing that we need to remind ourselves is that we need to continue this effort to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ummah, all of us have come here together to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the dua for today, the slogan for today is Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Wallahu Akbar, Wallillahi alham. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no one who deserves to be worshipped but Allah. Surely Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, and to Him belongs all praise, and all thanks are due to Him. This is the spirit we must carry with us till the next Ramadan, until we have another chance to refuel and to re-energize ourselves. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to be the greatest in our lives. He was during the month of Ramadan, and we achieved a certain closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, anybody can say that I love Allah, but the issue is, and this is what we must be concerned with the rest of the year, how much does Allah love us? How much does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us? Brothers and sisters, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran tells us that Allah, فَسَوْفَ يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ يُحِبُّهُمْ وَيُحِبُّونَ Allah will bring the people forward whom He loves. He loves them and they love Him. It is interesting that in this ayah, part of this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about His love first, that He loves them. In other words, the issue, the issue